single thought inside my brain replacing your face I don't think I'm okay Tell me that you're okay Every single thought inside my brain Good morning, you guys, and welcome to a new weekly vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Kathy. I'm a third year fifth grade teacher, and I just vlog my teaching journey. I vlog my mom journey. This week is a little bit different. It is Monday, November 14th, and it is conference week. So today we actually have the day off. It is a teacher work day. So it is 8.30 right now. I just finished one of my conferences. Now it is a work day. I didn't have to schedule any conferences today, but I did just to get a lot of them out of the way and a lot of parents actually signed up for today. I know this lighting is like, oh, this lighting is so amazing to me. I love the morning light now that the time change has happened. Um, so it's so bright and it just wakes me up. It feels so warm. Right now, I, like I said, I just finished up a conference. It's gonna be a busy week just because starting tomorrow, we still have class every day, but it is gonna be great because we have minimum days every day. So we get out at 12.30 and then we have conferences right after school. Let me know how your guys' school does this, but last year um, when I worked in Columbia, we actually had school from eight to four around there so we were there pretty late last year um but this year i really like the schedule how it's a minimum day so parents can come right after like at 12 45 and then i just schedule my conferences until three or four i didn't make them super late just because i can fit in a lot in 15 minutes today i wanted to show you guys my schedule and i kind of just wanted this vlog to be a collection of how i'm working with conferences showing you guys that how i organized it what things i'll be showing parents and then kind of just a little bit of me teaching so honestly i feel like this week is going to be a little bit more chillax just because we are going to have our minimum days i swear our minimum days okay my voice is like i'm still coughing you guys but i've been taking cough medicine now um, and I know there's like very specific things that you can take when you're pregnant. I'm finally taking some cough medicine because my throat was so itchy. Um, but I know there's like only a certain, there's really only a few um, types of cough medicine that you can take when you're pregnant. So I tried to be careful with that, but my throat was so itchy and I feel like it's starting to get better, but um, I'm still coughing. And the worst thing is I actually got, I like strained one of my back muscles coughing so much for the past like two, three weeks it's been, I think. So yesterday my back was hurting so, so bad. It felt like when you did an intense ab workout, but Brandon says I have like this, Brandon says I have an oblique muscle like back here, which I have no idea, I guess. Um, but I strained it because I've been coughing so much. So I was just like, wow. This is awful. So for conferences, I just use Sign Up Genius. This was actually my first time using this, and I know a ton of people use it for conferences, but I just did it by the days that I have, and then I just created my own time frame. Like I wanted my conferences to be about 15 minutes, so um, I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, every 15 minutes, and then I gave myself five minutes of buffer time. So I'll show you guys what I have here. I just basically made it. I did this through Google Docs, so I just made. I inserted a table and then I just put down my Monday times my Tuesday and my Wednesday now I have 26 students so not every single parent has signed up but for Monday today um, I just highlighted in orange so I could be more organized so I just had my 8 o'clock one I had my 9 o'clock and then I have a 10 o'clock so as you guys can see on Monday I basically just um, made my schedule so that there was one at the beginning of each hour just because today is a work day and I wanted to actually get some work done as well as have my conferences so it's kind of like killing two birds in one stone so um, some of these are phone um, calls which I gave the option for and then some of them are zoom so yeah that's kind of how I scheduled mine and then on Tuesday and Wednesday because we have uh, because we have school in the morning I just scheduled them for 12:45 to 1 
and then I gave myself like a five minute time and then the next parent signed up 105 to 120 so very simple I just do 15 minutes and then I'll show you guys what I've been doing um, I show parents first off I just have the grade card like right here in front just ready to go and then I go through I don't go in super super detail of every single thing that is on here but I kind of give them the gist of what we've been working on in writing and math and science and in social studies and then I go over their behavior a little bit and then I go over their PE grade and then I read comments that I wrote very easy on that and then I just tell parents like if you have any questions just let me know later on just I let them take it home and then they can read in detail everything here um, we've been working on writing so I actually asked my students to go grab their laptop and then I tell them to read their writing to their parents here at the table just so their parents can hear them read out loud and just see what we've been working on the last thing I show is just the last math test that we had kind of showing them their score things that we've been working on in there as well so for conferences I really try to maximize the time that parents are here so I mainly just focus on like what questions or comments the parents have and then kind of going over how they're doing overall in the classroom like academic wise behavior wise but I don't go into too much detail about like every single thing just because I know a lot of parents um, don't really understand exactly everything that we're doing I just try to make it simple and I try to just fill the parents in on the positive things that I see in the classroom and then focusing on what things that they can work on at home how can parents help with that so um, yeah, I say just keep conferences simple. If you're a new teacher, keep it simple, but make sure that you have, you know, the main important things that you really want to talk about. I always try to be really truthful with how students are doing in the classroom. If I feel like they're meeting standards or if I feel like they are really excelling or if I feel like um, they need to work on some behavior things in the classroom, then I definitely let the parents know. And the students are usually here since we have student-led conferences. And I think it's good for them to also hear in front of their parents. I think it's really helpful in that way so parents can really see how students are doing and the student can hear in front of their parents. They're like more willing to listen, I think, when their parents are here. So two conferences are done and out of the way. I've been trying to mark them off as I go just to stay organized. But yeah. I, you know, I try to not make conferences too stressful because I know they can be and I just kind of have like three things that I really focus on and then just make sure that I'm organized, making sure that I am keeping track of my conferences because it can get overwhelming um, and I don't want to like miss anything or say the wrong thing, but really I try to make it a very simple conversation with parents it's just literally a conversation like we can still be professional but have conversations with our parents so um yeah i'd love to know how you guys do conferences do you guys have minimum days or do you work like a full day and then you have conferences too because i feel like that way is pretty exhausting um like last year though we had conferences every single day after school but we would have friday off but today is like basically we have monday off and then we have the rest of the week this friday we're actually going home back to columbia which i am so excited about we haven't been home since obviously june since we moved out here to california so i'm so excited to go back home we're gonna visit family we have a wedding plan we're gonna hang out with some friends um it's a quick short like four day weekend just because brandon has to work but I'm so excited, you guys. We get to travel with Indy. She's now 11 months. I'm a little nervous now because she does a lot more. She doesn't sleep as much as she would whenever I tr we traveled with her before when she was four months. But yeah, the last time she was on a plane was when she was four months old. And she basically just slept through the whole flight. But the flight we're going on is at 11 p.m. And so we chose nighttime just because then she'd be sleeping on the plane for most of the time. Um, but we do have a layover and we're not getting into Columbia until the next morning. So I am a little bit nervous with how that's going to go. But I do think she's going to sleep majority of the time. Um, so fingers crossed that's how it works. But I don't really know like what to pack um, because now she's eating solids and stuff. I know we'll have food there, but like on the go, do you guys bring dry foods for your babies to eat and stuff? I was thinking like bringing fruit pouches and things like that, but like on the plane, I don't know. I have to figure it out because I honestly haven't thought about anything ahead of me um, besides like present day. So yeah, if you guys have any tips on traveling with, with an 11 month old, let me know. That would be very helpful enough babbling this is my classroom right now i have kept it pretty dark in here just because it's been 
pretty bright. Um, this light is annoying me so much because half of it is out and I haven't replaced it. I just like cannot be bothered. So I want to do that at some point because I would love to film a classroom tour for you guys. Um, I feel like I haven't showed much of this classroom in my vlogs, you know, as much as I did with my previous classroom. But guys, we had a back order of all of our Amplify stuff. Um, it just wasn't ready for us at the beginning of the year. And they are now giving it to us, but there is so much stuff. This is literally every single unit for every single student. There's like workbooks, there's teacher books, there's poems, um, so many things. I haven't even dug into this box yet. Um, this is what my team teacher has had in her room and she's just splitting it up for my students. But wow, I need to tackle this today. I would love to just get this mess cleaned up, but um, yeah, hopefully I can get some help because I know my team teacher right now has some students helping her in her classroom. Hey, I also want to say thank you guys for all the feedback on my last vlog. Um, you guys really said you loved the long vlogs, which I was not surprised by, but um, I didn't realize how much people loved watching longer vlogs. <laughs> I was keeping it to about 20 minutes or so, and then my last vlog was 45-ish minutes, and you guys really liked that. And I think this vlog is going to be pretty long too, just because it is going to be a longer week. I'm talking a lot more. I'll try to mix in both obviously like I'm not gonna have always super long vlogs but yeah thanks for all the feedback on that one you guys I really appreciate when you guys comment and let me know what you guys like that really helps me out I brought the most random things for lunch today okay these are my students they um, I showed you guys this last time but they are doing I ready so every time they complete a lesson or they pass their lesson we just fill in one of the squares they fill in their initials they love this reward um because they get to see it happening and then when they get to go up here and color it in it's just really rewarding for them we have filled out a few so far um and i just leave these up here to show them that we've gotten really far like as you guys can see the squares were really big before um like that and then every time we get farther and farther i make them a little bit smaller because it gets um a little bit harder for them so it's always a challenge but they actually voted on having a chip party so i brought in their talkies um but that'll be for tomorrow and then for lunch today oh my gosh my bag is so messy don't judge me for lunch i brought in some clam chowder if you guys have a vons i didn't have vons in columbia but there's a vons in california and i love their soup it's so good it's i guess vons is similar to like a gerbs or a schnooks if you guys know what that is i brought that for lunch and then I've been trying to be a little healthier for breakfast, so I brought this um, maple and brown sugar oatmeal just to get in some like carbs during the day, and I know oatmeal is really good for you. I've been eating Starbucks egg bites like almost every week, and I know it can't be healthy, and it's not great for my wallet, so I've been trying to bring my own breakfast. Um, so that's what I'm having today. I also brought a bag of popcorn, which I feel like is still decently a good snack. Getting yourself? Good, good. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I've done five conferences so far, and then I just have a few more for the rest of the day. It's 11.30 now. Um, yeah, I wanted to know, I'm curious, because at my school, the school allows us to fundraise our own money how we choose to. Basically, let's say if we are fundraising for a field trip or if we need money for snacks in the classroom, things like that, then we can carve out a time like either before school or after school to sell things that we want to like snacks or things like that um food to raise money for our own classrooms i don't know if you guys have that opportunity or not i never did this the past two years i was teaching but my team teacher and i um decided to sell ramen for breakfast um for this week so the kids aren't here today like i said but they will be here tomorrow through friday and we decided it'd be a really big hit if we sold like noodle cups for breakfast so we're going to be selling them at the breakfast tables up at the front of the school right before school and while the students are eating their breakfast 
in the morning you can't sell like chips or ice cream or things like that but ramen was approved for us i know it's not like the healthiest breakfast to have but um the school offers like hot breakfast they also offer fruit and cereal and stuff but we will be selling our ramen like on the side um so i made a flyer for it and you guys know if you've watched me for a while i love canva so much but it's just simple i just put fifth grade breakfast sale and then i said it's only a dollar for a cup where is it going to be and then when i'm gonna stick one of these flyers in every teacher's mailbox and then also put it on our class dojo during halloween we also had something called the harvest festival where teachers got their own booth and they would basically make up games or have different games at their table and you just sell tickets at your booth and whatever money you make you can keep for your classroom like field trips or things like buying snacks or just things for my classroom that um i don't want to use my classroom funds for i can use so that was really cool i never got to do that because i actually had covid during the time so it was kind of a bummer so this is more of a fifth grade thing that we're doing and yeah i'm excited um so tomorrow we're gonna be selling ramen here is my outfit of the day before i forget um, my hair is just in a messy bun because salma and i are going to the gym today and we're also headed to the sauna um so i didn't want to wash my hair and then just have it dirty um i'm wearing one of my favorite pants these are from albion fit i think i'm pronouncing that correctly these are amazing they're like a dry fit material kind of i think um but they're professional while athleisure at the same time fits the bump still so i'm grateful for that um this sweater it's a tunic sweater so it is on the longer side but i got it from old navy it's very very comfy it's just like one of their cream neutral knit sweaters and then i wore them with my ugg minis i'm sitting down all day basically during conferences and i didn't want to be uncomfortable so yeah the next plan is i just finished some more report cards and then i am about to head out and get lunch with salma really quickly before my conferences at the end of the day guys my postpartum hair is growing back i don't know you guys can probably see it like these little pieces of hair that's all my postpartum hair i was losing so much hair but um it's growing back so that's all that matters it's just a little messy like when i wear it in a bun she, uh, me, <laughs> can you beep beep? Beep beep. Good job. <laughs> beep 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 beep. Eh. Eh. Thank you. Good morning you guys happy tuesday students are back now but this whole week like i said is a minimum week so we get out every day at 12 30 so that we can have conferences right after school so today in writing as you guys saw we did our amplify books and um, we worked on similes and metaphors so we're just comparing the two how are they alike how are they different they got to work in their workbooks which i really like because the workbooks are really there available to them so they can practice um, and a lot of the time we actually do in the beginning we just did a lot of like group discussions um, giving examples of similes and metaphors and then students got to work independently and then as they work I kind of just walk around um, check work make sure they're doing it correctly um, but before that we were just kind of giving examples and we watched a video over similes and metaphors and for morning work we didn't do any worksheets just because they've been gone for four days it was a four-day weekend and so so um, they just did I ready or they read. So I just kind of wanted them to catch up this morning and get, you know, a slow start to the morning. We also sold ramen this morning. It was a little hectic. We didn't really have like a good plan going into it. Okay, quick update like on my well-being. Um, I've been taking some cough medicine, like I said, but I feel like my cough is now like 
more of a dry cough like I have post nasal drip and my brain like I just feel like I have a lot of brain fog right now so I don't know like I don't think I'm getting a cold again but I think because of like all the post nasal stuff I feel like I have a cold again which I hope I don't but I'm like guys it feels like it's been lingering for like three whole weeks I'm just so tired of feeling sick and coughing and blowing my nose it's just maybe that's a COVID thing maybe like COVID the symptoms last way longer than usual I have no idea um but yeah my team teacher and I are about to plan because it's a minimum week our schedule is kind of off so we actually have plan time every single day and I never really said this but we don't have plan time every day usually I get mine like Mondays Thursdays and Fridays I usually don't get it on Tuesday or Wednesday but this week because it's a minimum week they um built in like time for PE they built in time for a library so that is really good so now we can actually plan um, my dress is kind of short so I had to pair it with some pantyhose I wore this like on my first week of school for fourth grade last year I think um, it's from Marshall's but I love the color of this dress it's kind of like a mustard green olive shade um, I love it so much but I wanted to pair it with pantyhose so I have pantyhose on and I've got my black combat boots it is the end of the day um, we had dismissal today at 12 30 so I was dismissing students out of my classroom and they were helping me organize all of my amplify books I have stacks and stacks and stacks of them that I need to reorganize and just hand out to my team teacher but my students wanted to help so I took full advantage of that that is definitely a perk of having older students because they can help me like break down boxes they can help me organize um, so I love that but now I need to figure out what to do with them I'm currently waiting for a parent to get on zoom so I gave the option for zoom in person or um, a phone call and so I'm waiting for one parent here and then I just pull up like the grade card underneath and I show them that on the screen not gonna lie today was so crazy like I I don't know if you guys also have minimum days maybe they're the same way for you but I feel like I'm maybe trying to fit in too much in one day or maybe it's just because the schedule is off but our schedule is different I don't know what's going on but I'm like whoa I feel like my brain has not stopped moving like I feel like it's running a million miles a minute right now so I just had a last minute conference. I saw a parent walking by and I knew she hadn't signed up yet and she was in a sibling's room. So I was like, oh, just come over to my room really quickly. So I just got one, another one out of the way that wasn't scheduled. So I was like, yes, I feel accomplished. So anyways, whew, the office like ran out of water. So I feel like I'm also dehydrated, which is not good for a pregnant person because it's catching up to me. So I'm gonna try to find some water and then I have a conference and then talk to you guys soon <laughs> good morning lovely people happy wednesday i left my camera at school yesterday i i swear when i have parent teacher conferences i am like so in the zone that i kind of forget like what i'm doing so i actually had my last conference at like 2 15 i think and then she stayed here until maybe four so we talked for a very long time sometimes i just really click with parents or are they just like talking and I didn't really mind I had plans to go to the gym after school yesterday but that didn't happen I had plans to go to the gym the day before with Salma that didn't happen so I think parent-teacher conferences just has been wearing me out and I don't even realize it it's Wednesday another 12 30 dismissal day and like I said yesterday I think minimum days are just crazy because I feel like I'm trying to fit as much in as I can and um, yeah there's still just a lot to do during the day of course but some of my students are helping us get our ramen noodle sales ready so they're outside taking orders I don't know about you guys but our school has like a before school program and an after school program which is really awesome for parents who go to work early and for parents who get off late so um, in the morning they basically just play and hang out and stuff and then they go get breakfast so um, I'm just getting my slides ready, of course, and getting some music going. I did a nasal rinse this morning and last night, and I've never been that person to do that, but I yesterday I said I had such brain fog it felt like because I had so much stuffiness like up here. I had to do something about it. 
I just posted a reel yesterday and a lot of people were asking me about my classroom playlist and to send a link I don't really have like a good my own good classroom playlist I follow a lot of people on Spotify that have it or I'll look up classroom playlist I literally just search classroom playlist and then or I'll type in clean classroom playlist TikTok classroom or clean pop hits things like that that my students know um, and then I just play them and see if I like them so right now I'm listening to there's a classroom playlist just says 2022 it's by Andrea Long and then if I go over here to all my other ones like I have clean pop hits just random ones that I've searched up. This one's by Indy Mono, but yeah, I just recommend searching for all this stuff. Little outfit of the day I have on this maternity skirt. I need to link it for you guys because all I did was I looked up maternity skirt on Amazon and it's one of those skirts that like goes all the way up to your belly. It's super stretchy, like a nice jersey material. It's very soft. Um, but yeah, it really emphasizes the bump for sure. And then I thrifted this top a while ago. I know it's not everyone's like cup of tea. It's my style though. Um, it's more of like a blouse, I guess. And I basically just buttoned it up and then I tied it since it is like a button down shirt. And then I just kind of have it over my belly like this. I literally just walked up the hill to drop the kids off at library and I'm so out of breath. <laughs> like I'm... I would like to go to the gym so I can be like, oh yeah, like I work out, I feel better, but I haven't. So I'm like, wow. And I'm still stuffy a little bit. Okay, maybe today I will try to refurbish my mirror because everything has fallen off of it and it's so, so dirty. So maybe that's what I'll do right now. Priorities. So I was talking about this before, but if I ever need to supplement or if I need extra resources, I always just Google it. And today I Googled... Um, decimal place value now, that's what my students just had their quiz over so this is their quiz right here where they have to write it in written form they have to match the decimals in written form you know a lot of it is really challenging and complicated um, and I just kind of want to see where they're at with it but for this like I think this would be helpful so I just went on to Google like I said I found this resources from teaching with a mountain view so if you're also doing a fifth grade math this would might be helpful there's even an interactive notebook that's for free to download yeah I talked about this before but I never try to over complicate my lessons ever um, I teach from the book I teach what students need to know and I supplement on Google or finding different things that could be helpful but I don't make anything extravagant just because it just honestly doesn't need to happen I feel like as long as your lessons are engaging they're simple students are understanding they're discussing they're participating that's how you know it's a good lesson and like I said like let's say my kids don't do so hot on the quiz I'm going to kind of um, give them a little refresher I can have them retake the quiz again if I feel like a lot of students are missing the concepts, you know, if they're missing common questions or anything like that, I can go back and say, okay, this is what we needed to work on. And it's not fair if I feel like I didn't teach it well enough um, for them to just take it and then get a bad grade on it if multiple people are also getting it wrong, if that makes sense. And teaching is just, it's just not perfect all the time. Okay, as you guys can see, for the end of the day, like the last 10 minutes, I had my students help me reorganize the desks um i kind of want your guys' opinion because i don't know how i feel about it i mainly wanted some more space just kind of going through mainly i wanted more floor space but this didn't really give me the floor space that i wanted so i don't know if i need to do something with these and just push them back a little bit or have them like two just like these are as well but i thought maybe this could kind of clear up some space just kind of change up the scenery a little bit i just don't know if i love it i want it to be practical obviously like kids have room to get through okay this is the final product i'm really obsessed with this layout i kind of did like a v shape if that's what you want to call it but i have so much space i feel like the camera isn't even doing it justice like there's so much more carpet space which i initially wanted and then there's so much more space like in between seats so this is what it looks like right now. I love it so much. Yeah, my kids are going to be in groups of six 
or seven actually it'll be seven then I don't know how that's gonna go like I like how it looks I like that they're in groups but I don't know if this is just gonna be a lot or if it's going to be even manageable so I'll update you guys on how the seating arrangement and things work but for right now I'm really excited about the change and just like it just flows better I feel like and now for morning meeting we're gonna have so much more space to actually like be at the carpet so I'm obsessed so my kids earlier they came in they actually helped me with all the desks so I didn't have to do it by myself but they have an after-school program like I was saying earlier and so I just kind of recruited them and I was like do you guys want to come in like in between my conferences help me set up the tables they also looked in every single person's desk and made sure that it was the right person they labeled the desks for me so very very grateful for my students for doing that I also wanted to say I don't even know why I vlogged this week because I feel like it's been so chaotic and so overwhelming and I always look back and I edit and I'm like oh my gosh I have to cut out so much stuff because I feel like conference week is so just busy time-consuming like I never remember what I'm even vlogging so I hope this has been helpful so far I'm still gonna vlog tomorrow because it is gonna be the last day of the week um, but yeah, and then tonight, Brandon and I are going to Target. We need to get a bunch of stuff for our trip coming up in Missouri. Yeah, I'm gonna leave now. It's 3.45, my conferences are done. I just have a couple more tomorrow. I feel really accomplished. I feel really happy with the day. Just overwhelming, of course. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning you guys, happy Thursday. The sunshine in my room is making me so happy right now. I love when it's just bright and sunny and it just feels like it's gonna be a good day. And as you guys know, I also rearranged. That's also making me feel really refreshed. I love changing up my space. Once again, last day of conferences. I only have three today, which is gonna go by super fast. Um, so I'm actually just gonna try to get a lot of stuff done. I have subplanes that I need to make for tomorrow. Um, I would like to edit a video. I would also like to film a classroom tour. So look out for that. That's gonna be my next video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm gonna end the vlog off here. Um, I had a great time taking you with me through my chaos and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you all in my next video bye